What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews where we do short reviews for tall people. Today, we're gonna be going over a really awesome pair of sunglasses I came across that are great for big heads. It's a company called Detour Sunglasses and this is their big kahuna line and I can't wait to show them to you. So let's check them out. Before we get started, I wanna welcome the newest patron on Patreon. Ava, with the screen name Double Barrel, contributed and is helping me save towards new products to review. So thank you, Ava, big shout out to you. So I was on the market for sunglasses that fit a larger head and I came across Detour sunglasses. Not everything on their website is meant for larger heads, but the frames that I was interested in were the big kahunas. I reached out to Detour and they happily sent me two pairs of their glasses, the Tortoise Fade Jet Black and the Driftwood Jet Black. Both pairs are polarized and they're the big kahuna version, so they should fit big heads. So for reference, I myself wear a size eight hat, and my head is about 63.5 centimeters around, and so I don't have the biggest head on the planet, but I definitely run into issues with things that are one size fits all with hats, glasses, and other headwear products. The big kahunas come in at $42, so today we're gonna be reviewing not only their fit, but if they're worth the price tag. So let's open these bad boys up. First off, I like the box that they send them in. I think that's pretty cool. There we go. So we got two pairs of sunglasses here, two koozies. Now, I don't know if this is coincidence or not, but these koozies just happen to be the official colors of Freaky Top Reviews channel colors. So if you did that on purpose, Detour, that's pretty cool and thank you. Some pretty cool Detour sunglasses stickers and then a microfiber cloth for cleaning. So both of these glasses have spring hinges as well as polarized UV 400 protective FDA approved impact resistant lenses. Isn't that a mouthful? So just looking at these things, the XL frames are definitely bigger than most glasses. These sunglasses are 150 millimeters wide, 51 millimeters tall, and 149 millimeters long, which are great measurements for someone with a bigger head. Now, let me break down some measurements on my own head where I'll list my measurements and then show on the screen what the human average head size is so you can see what the comparison is. My biocular bread, my, my biocular bread, bread. <laughs> So my biocular breadth from one corner of the eye to the other is 12 centimeters. The human average is about 11 centimeters, so not too far off. But my Betragian breadth, and I don't know if I said that correctly, so forgive me if I'm wrong, which is from my temple to my temple is 18 centimeters, and the average is 13.1 centimeters for male head. So while my eyes aren't super far apart, my head width is actually pretty significant. Lastly, my head length from forehead to the back of my head is about 28 centimeters and the average is about 18 centimeters. So definitely quite a bit larger there. There are many more head measurements, but these are what I found to be most applicable to wearing sunglasses. So let's try these things on and check them out. So as you can see from these things, they're actually pretty sweet. She doesn't even go here. They're nice and wide on my head and they don't feel like they're pinching in. Even just sliding them on, a lot of times on a bigger head when you're sliding them on, you can feel them kind of flex out like that. These are not doing that. They push out a little bit whenever they go through around my temple and then they feel really nice on my head. From the side here, you can tell that they probably need to be a little bit longer for me personally, but overall, they're not bad, and I really like the style of them. I think these things are pretty sweet, actually. Um, I think these glasses are very comfortable. I think the materials are pretty solid with them. You know what's interesting about these? My first impression is that the lenses look a little large, but it's because I'm so used to lenses looking way too small on my face. A lot of times I have glasses where you can see them bending outwards as they're on my face like that. With these, they look totally fine. I mean, they go all the way to the edges of my face and they are straight back, almost 90 degree angles right here because there's no bend outwards. Really like these a lot. I think Detour Sunglasses is doing a lot of really good stuff. Again, these are their big kahuna pairs, and so not every pair of sunglasses they have are gonna fit, but these are really fantastic fantastic uh, and I do highly recommend them. So do they get the Freaky Tall stamp of approval? Absolutely. Detour, thank you for sending these over. These are really great sunglasses. If anyone in my audience happens to pick a pair of these up, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. If you've made it this far into the video, please consider subscribing. Most of the viewers on my channel are not subscribed, so please join the Freaky Tall family. Also, be sure to check out my Instagram and my Twitter where I share behind the scenes stuff going on at Freaky Tall Studios. And last, if you're interested in supporting the channel financially, then check out my Patreon page where I use the funds to save up for new products products to review. Again, big shout out to Ava for becoming the most recent Freaky Tall Reviews patron. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here and I appreciate your time. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews. We'll see you next time. <laughs>